下面我们请梁德仁传道为立职礼来证道 Now we invite preacher Darren Liang to give a message for the ordination 奉主耶稣圣名在这里为着立职礼来证道 In the name of Jesus Christ, I give a message for the ordination 我们感谢主我们今天早上要安立两个弟兄为圣子。And we praise the Lord that this morning we will ordain two brothers to be holy workers in the church. 那这两位弟兄在过去都有爱主服侍的一段经历。And both of these brothers have a past of serving the Lord with love. 那经过教会的程序通过。And through the church process. 那今天要在这个地方案例他们为知识跟传道。through the approval of the church process, they will be ordained as a preacher and deacon of the church. Uh, um, the holy workers in the church are not um, titles given in society. Oh, uh, the holy workers in the church take after the example of Jesus' humility uh, to serve the members. Oh, 工人的次序跟我们一般社会上的了解是不太一样。And so when the Paul talks about the order and sequence of the workers in the church is very different from what we know in the world.哥林多前书第三章。Turn to First Corinthians chapter three.啊，哥林多前书第三章。First Corinthians chapter three.啊，二十一节、二十二节。Verses twenty one and twenty two.请读。Verse twenty one. Therefore, let no one glory in men, for all things are yours. Twenty two. Whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death or things present or things to come, all are yours. 23. Verse 23, and you are Christ, and Christ is God. Oh. Now here mentions whether Paul or Apollos or Cephas or the world or life or death. All these are yours. Uh, and you are Christ, and Christ is God. Uh, so we can see the workers uh, belong to the members, the members belong to Christ, and Christ belongs to God. And the, the uh, holy workers um, are very important, are very precious. The position of the workers are very important, but there are servants in the church. Oh, and so the, it's not that the members belong to the workers. Oh, and so that's why in verse 21 says, Therefore oh, let no one glory in men. Oh, if in the church we hear a glorifying men more than glorifying God, then there is a problem. Uh, if in the church we mention the names of men more than we name, uh, mention the name of God, then there is something wrong. So we the and so when we ordain holy workers, we're ordaining uh, the servants of God in the church to serve the church of God. 那, 那圣职人员, 啊, 传道的工作, 它是全时间, 主要是, 啊, and as a preacher, as a uh, preacher in the church, uh, is a full-time position to preach the gospel. 啊, 那, and to help the pastoral work in the church. Uh, and the work of the deacon is focused on the local church. Uh, uh, some also are full time workers in the GA. Uh, 他们的工作, uh, and uh, the nature of the work uh, makes it makes it easier for them to uh, become ordained ministers. Oh, 那在例子之前, and prior to ordination, I'd like to use a passage in the Bible as an encouragement. Oh, Let's turn to Romans chapter 12. Oh, Romans chapter 12. Oh, Romans chapter 12. 第一节, 
verse 1. Verse 1, I beseech you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, wholly acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2, and do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Verse 1 says, I beseech you by the mercies of God. From Romans chapter 1 to 12, it talks about the salvation of God, which is a salvation, a justification by faith. And the a focus of justification by faith is in chapter 5. That Christ died while we were sinners. And that is how God demonstrated his love. And it is because of this love that we are justified in chapter 6. So that when we are baptized, we, are, we have died and are buried and resurrected with God. So from a living dead person, we become a person with true spiritual life. And then God gave us the Holy Spirit to renew us and to sanctify us. And so as humans, we have the image of God. And before God, we are honorable. And we have glory. And these are all the mercies of God. And the conclusion of this mercy of God is that we need to live a new life. And to live a new life means that we offer our bodies as a living sacrifice to God. And to accept uh, the ordination of a holy worker means that we will spend our lives to serve God. And so where does our motivation come from? It is uh, motivated by the love of God in us. In Ezekiel, um, God wanted Ezekiel to do some very hard tasks. He wanted Ezekiel to preach the warning to the people to bring them back. And uh, God had already told Ezekiel that the hearts of the Israelites were so hardened. And so he will suffer much. But before God gave him this mission, um, God gave uh, Ezekiel a vision. It is the vision of the glory of God. Uh, Let's turn to Ezekiel chapter 1. Uh, Ezekiel chapter 1. Uh, verse 26. And above the firmament over their heads was the likeness of a throne, an appearance like a sapphire stone. On the likeness of the throne was the likeness with the appearance of a man high above it. 27. 27. Also from the appearance of his waist and upward I saw, as it were, the color of amber with the appearance of fire all around within it. 28. And from the appearance of his waist and downward I saw, as it were, the appearance of fire and brightness all around. 28. Like the appearance of a rainbow and a cloud on a rainy day, so was the appearance of the brightness all around it. This was the appearance of the lightness of the glory of the Lord. Here it talks about the appearance of God. Uh, it is uh, like um, a sapphire stone. Uh, it is like the likeness of fire. And it is a, a color of amber. So he used words that we can understand to describe God. And so what is the motivation behind Ezekiel's service? It is not that what God can give him. That God himself was the motivation. When a person sees such uh, the wonderful, the tremendous glory of God, how, almi how mighty he is, that we can fear um, and really uh, respect him, then that is our motivation to serve him. So to serve God, we have to often draw ourselves close to God. So that motivator can burn within us like a fire. 
if our uh, relation if our distance with God is very far. And God no longer moves in us. Then our service will just be something that is external. And is superficial and it lacks the power. Before God called Isaiah. He also showed him a vision. He showed him how the seraphim served before God. He saw the glory fill the temple of God. And the seraphim uh, called holy, holy, holy. And the whole uh, whole uh, foundation of the temple shaked. And later, when God called Isaiah, Isaiah said, Isaiah immediately responded, Here I am. What is the most glorious and great thing in this world? It is God. So when we serve God, we have to draw ourselves close to Him often, so we will want to serve Him until our death. Um, in this world, there are many people who like to retire early in order to serve God. Why? Because when you see through the world, you, you find it's empty. Even your sense of accomplishment can turn out to be empty. If it's for money, it turns out to be empty. Or for position, that turns out to be empty as well. And so many want to uh, retire early in order to serve God. But today, if we draw close to God, often, we will often be thankful towards God to have the opportunity to serve Him. That I will serve until my last breath. Why? Because God is moving us. Sometimes when we're so busy in holy work, it seems like our relationship with God feels very blurred. And our passion for serving seems to have decreased. And so when we serve God, we have to place the goal continually before us. And that goal, that target is the Lord Jesus. That we must draw close to Him. We have to be like Him. So then when we serve, we will be greatly benefited. And so the mercy of God compels us, uh, encourages us to uh, move us so that we can offer our bodies as a living sacrifice to Him. In Romans chapter 12, verse 2, says, do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind. If we look at this very good comparison, conform, transform, this is a great contrast. Do we be conformed to this world or be transformed? And so this depends on the attitude of our service. In this world, there is a certain attitude. But in serving God, there is another style of attitude. And so, therefore, if our service is to be pleasing to God, we have to transform on the worldly attitude to that of the spiritual. And this process is to be transformed by the renewing of our mind. So then we could be very clear about what God's will is. When we are clear on God's will, then what we do is pleasing to God. Then in our good deeds, we will bear more fruit. Then when we serve, we will be greatly benefited. So today we will ordain two holy workers. And I'm filled with a great deal of praise. And I'm filled with a great deal of praise. But the end of a matter is more important than its beginning. So the ordination is simply the beginning. And to continue this path until the end is the, is the end. And 
And so to be able to make it to the end will be better than the beginning. And in this process, there will be many difficulties. But when we turn our eyes on God, and we strengthen ourselves in His grace, then every difficulty turns into an experience. And so the process of serving is filled with the blessing and mercy of God. So the more we serve, the more we experience God, and the sweeter it becomes. Then we will tell ourselves that when I did agree to be ordained, that was a right decision. Because it was a blessing to me. And may God bless and guide everything. I will kneel in front to pray. And we ask the Holy Spirit to personally ordain them. We ask the congregation to rise and say a prayer in silence. And after the ordination, we will ask the Holy Spirit to send them. To give them a gift and the ability. And we ask the elders in the church. And also the deacons and elders and ministers of the USGA. To come to lay hands on them and give them your blessing. And we ask the congregation to kneel in prayer. So that is the procedure of our ordination. So now we ask the congregation to rise. In the name of Jesus Christ, we will ordain the Brother Stephen Ku as a deacon of the True Jesus Church. May the Lord grant you gifts and wisdom and the power to be a faithful servant in the house of God to edify the church to glorify the name of the Lord.
上这两位新案例的控诉人员。首先，我们来介绍古木林执事。啊啊，竹师娘，有几天呢？啊，你两个孩子在哪里？这是古木林之士，他们一家哈。古执事的爸爸古良普执事，啊，是我们真理寺教会的传道专职传道工人。啊，移民到美国来以后啊，在我们初期的教会，呃，在各地方帮忙教会施工。啊，真的是好像他的圣名一样，是一个非常忠心良善的好仆人。我们特别介绍古良普执事娘。他们现在是属于太平洋教会。And they all come to Pacific Church. 好，请坐。Please take a seat. 郭佩信传道。And uh, preacher Samuel Kuo. Ah, this is we in America, ah, real homegrown preacher of the gospel. He is the first homegrown preacher in the United States. Ah, because he was born here, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised and educated in this country. Ah, he was born and raised And we would like to introduce a pastor's wife, Joyce 姐妹 ，Sister Joyce. 啊，这是啊，她是梁传道的女婿。And he is also the son-in-law of Preacher Liang. 啊，感谢主哈，他能够献身担任专主的传道工人。We praise the Lord that he is able to dedicate himself to the full-time work of God. 啊，愿主耶稣跟他们同在，他能够一生一世，他能够服侍主。And we ask the Lord to be with them so that they can dedicate themselves in their lives to serve God. Ah, 做成美好的善功来荣耀主耶稣基督的圣名。And to do work to glorify the name of the Lord. 我们现在要为他们颁发案例的证书。And now we would like to give them the certificate of ordination. 这是案例执事的证书。And this is the certificate of ordination of a deacon. 这是 certificate of ordination for a full-time minister. 啊，感谢神，我们刚刚完成了呃，例子两位呃，圣职人员。Thank God, we just completed the ordination of our two ministers. 我们会中一起来唱赞美诗，一同来啊赞美神。Let the congregation please rise to sing a hymn to praise God. 请唱赞美诗三百九十二首。Sing hymn three ninety two. 